Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depends on where you are currently. Today I want to introduce to you the largest dormitory in Asia, the Hongyuan Lo. Yeah, which is apparently this huge building in front of me, which I will show you now. And in this building here, there are living 10,000 Chinese female students. And according to a friend of mine who's living in there, I asked her, she said that all female students are actually living in this uh, building and that all other dormitories are from uh, are male dormitories. And yeah, you can see this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stories. And like I think 40 of these uh, uh, apartments and in the one my friend is living in there is space for five people so this is already a lot but this is this front is not the whole building actually yeah you can also go in it and you can see like actually just how large it is um, so according to my friend the fee you pay here is for one year is 900 RMB which equals 100 12 euro around that maybe 115 euro for one year that is like yeah super cheap but yeah look at this building i think it's quite insane um and yeah because it's so large um living in there has like a few things which you have to take, keep in mind like um the bathrooms there's like only public bathrooms um, I think like 10 per store uh, per uh, story and then also you cannot use um, any high electric power devices also like no um, water boiler things like this um, and at 11 p.m. they turn off the light so that everyone can sleep basically but then of course if you have if you're living together with uh, many people on this toast space it might still be loud and yeah that is it but i think yeah most chinese people are quite used to um staying in dormitories but even though here this one is then uh, quite the maximum level of dormitory i think you can do for a student um as, as my friend she said that the way where she was living before it was much nicer than uh, here because yeah this is like really extreme but actually in here it looks nice from the outside um, maybe I can find some pictures from the inside and which I can show you and there's also some articles of CGTN and uh, other Chinese news um, about this dormitory here and as this is a short video I want to ask you if you have uh, any experiences living in a dormitory in what kind of dormitory did you live? Um, was it a big one? One where you had your own room? And in what country was it? Was it also um, in China or somewhere else? And yeah, what do you think as the like, advantages and disadvantages? And would you recommend other students to go to live in a dormitory or better to stay off campus? Yeah, and if you like this short video, you can give it a like. Otherwise, of course, just uh, share your comments, uh, share your thoughts in the comments. Goodbye.